Hello, it's me, Gil, Sam Possible, and me, guys. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another reaction video. No, that's not it. Hello, it's me, Gil, Sam Possible, and me, guys. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments, episode 137. It is Thursday once again, or maybe Wednesday if you're watching this a day early on Patreon. Shout out to all the Patreons to get an option to watch these videos a day early, uh, as well as the reaction videos and your name in the description as well. But regardless of what day you're watching this on, let's go ahead and read some comments. It's not just that one episode of IT Crowd that has links to the MCU as Chris O'Dowd had a small role in For the Dark World. Yeah, I remember that. He was the guy who was trying to date Jane. It's just a shame that he got his MCU rub in the worst fucking film in the MCU. The episode DNA does say that Crichton's brain is partially organic as for Remmer. Uh, maybe he didn't want to be left out. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, honestly. It was a great story. It didn't make sense him getting, you know, affected when you think about it, but fuck it. It was a great story. I had completely forgotten about that Here It Goes Again song until now. So had I. Like, I, I didn't even remember the song. I just remembered the music video. That's why I got it mixed up with Call On Me, because I didn't even remember what the actual song was, just the video. I, 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 I re-remembered the song once I looked up the video, and it's a pretty good song, honestly. Lil Dot Studios manages over 30,000 titles. This is cut and paste from their website. A global leader in anti-piracy, Lil Dot Studios manages more than 30,000 titles on social platforms. On behalf of copyright holders, we monetize, block, and remove all types of contents, include live streams and special high-priority pri uh, high events. And sometimes, they let a certain American man put Father Ted on YouTube. And for that, I am grateful. I'd like to suggest you watch the 1999 sitcom Hippies from the creators of Father Ted starring Simon Pegg and Julian, uh, what is it, Julian Rind? Is it Rind? Julian Rind Tut? Uh, Mac from Greenwing, okay. The series is six episodes long and are all on YouTube. Really? That sounds tremendous, actually. I don't think I've heard of that until now. Unfortunately, I don't think Peter Kay has any desire to come back into public life. He hasn't been properly seen since 2017 when he canceled a number of gigs for personal reasons and never came back. Hope he's okay. The timing of this comment is really funny because just like, I think like three days ago as this is going up, two days ago it's going up, and like three days after this was commented, <laughs> Peter Kay literally announced that, um, that he's coming back. <laughs> For he's doing three stage so shows this year. So, welcome back, Peter. I should also state as well, the reason Kay is coming back for these stage shows is actually for a very good cause. Uh, he's trying to help raise money uh, for a woman named Laura Nuttall who has brain cancer. Uh, and uh, he, he's doing those stages, he's doing those shows to help raise money uh, for, I believe, either her surgery or whatever it is. Uh, to think it to treatment, probably. Treatment. The brain scan showed she has six tumors. Um, and uh, he's doing it to raise help raise money for her. So if you're interested in supporting that, the shows are going to take place on the O2 Apollo Manchester uh, on August 7th. Do you have any tips for someone who wants to start streaming? Hmm. Well, uh, be yourself, but at the same time, uh, you, you don't, don't overthink it too much. You know, like, some people go in thinking about it way too much. Like, oh, I gotta have this and that, and I gotta spend a couple thousand dollars and all that. And then they average ten viewers and think, you know, and then they're like, well, what the fuck? I did all this, all I was supposed to do, and, and nothing's happening. Really, what you gotta accept, first off, is nothing's guaranteed in anything on the internet. People think just getting a job and making money on the internet is easy. Uh, it's not. You actually have to be interesting and you actually have to have a personality, and you actually have to present a reason for people to want to watch you. You know, you could have the most high-tech setup in the world, but if you're just sitting there, not only saying something every 10 minutes and not really bringing anything to the table, um, then you're not gonna get anywhere. Uh, I, I don't think that highly of myself, but at the same time, I have certain people on my Twitch who have watched me for two plus years and they're still there. So the fact that I've been able to maintain a, a good amount of people for that amount of long, for that amount of time, must mean that I'm doing something right. So, you know, don't overthink it. Uh, be yourself, but also give people a reason to watch. Whether it's your personality, whether it's gameplay, whether it's something unique, you got to give people a reason to watch. I would have voted for Roland every round, The Weakest Link. He's like that one school kid that tries too hard to be funny, but only he laughs. Yeah, he was, uh, 
he was trying real hard. He was trying real hard. I, it seemed like he was trying to make it a showcase for himself a little bit. I wonder what he's doing nowadays. They did two Data B specials of the weakest link for charity worth checking out. You know, I've seen one of them. I've seen the one with Austin, but it. I, I, the thing about it is I was thinking about doing one, but I can never find either of them in a quality that's watchable. Like, the quality I've found them both in is just such dog shit. So, unless somebody can find one in a watchable quality, I probably won't be doing those. You never want to be the strongest Link when there's three no one wants to go ahead to have the favorite. Yeah, I get that. I think I misunderstood at the beginning what exactly the goal was, because when they said charity, uh, I, for some reason I had it in my head that they were all playing for, like, one charity. You know, I didn't realize that they were all playing for their own individual charity, so I thought they might have wanted to camp the strongest person in, you know, to, to get more money up, you know, uh, for the charity and all that, but they were playing for their own individual charities, so that makes more sense. The narrator of the show, John Briggs, is actually the voice of Siri in the UK. You know, I was gonna say that he sounds like a text-to-speech guy, kind of, and I guess he actually is. The Wicked Link is getting rebooted in the UK with comedian Romish, oh god, let's see, Romish Raganathafin? Raganathafin? Probably butchered that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. You, you never know with remakes. Sometimes they are good, sometimes they are not. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens with that. It makes sense they're getting a new host because Anne is uh, doing Countdown now, I think. Wonder how sick Rona got last year with jokes about her name. Hopefully Rona didn't get Rona. Imagine the jokes then. Pennsylvania probably. Ay, that, that lady. I, I, I know she just had a brain fart. I'm not trying to judge her too hard. But say, what is the state? What is the country? Her a country bordering. Was a country bordering Lake Michigan? Her ass said Pennsylvania. <laughs> It's an episode of Doctor Who that for a lot of people will be skippable because for like 75% of it isn't great, but I always watch for that moment Tenet exits the TARDIS and his performances elevates the whole episode. Yeah, I mean, talk about establishing yourself. Like, obviously he's the Doctor, he's the main character, so it's his opportunity to go in there and make the show his own. And like, that was really his first big impression, and that is not a bad start. <laughs> Doctor Who Christmas specials have a history of being a bit more silly and jokey plot-wise than normal episode, uh, so this one's par for the course. It's just that one scene that was weird to me. The scene where they're with Harriet Jones and the rest of them just like, you know, in the secret base or whatever. Uh, you know what I think it was? It was that the dialogue, the reason I thought it was like a parody is the dialogue sounded like it was like out of like an 80s American action movie, you know? like but like unironically it was very very strange so i mean it, it didn't feel it, it didn't feel like it belonged in the rest of the show as well so it kind of threw me off i don't think you should watch every episode of series two series one was consistently decent but series two and three had a few really bad episodes well regardless of whether that's true or not there's one thing that i do know is true and that's if i that's that is if i skip episodes a good amount of people are gonna get massively butthurt about it. So, I could, but probably better if I don't. Peter Serafinowicz doesn't play Darth Maul visually, he just does the voice. Ah, well, that makes sense is why I didn't recognize him then. The guy trying to order food from Bernard is the guy who wrote Father Ted. You know, I never recognize Graham. Like, maybe he's just got a forgettable face, because like, I've, I only ever recognized him in that IT Cred episode, but like, I saw that Father Ted documentary, I watched the whole ass documentary of his ass in there, and I still just don't recognize the man. Great to see you wrecked into our national pastime. It's a shame uh, Shear never won a trophy for Newcastle. If he had signed for Man United in 96 instead, he would have won multiple Premier Leagues and uh, become one of the most dedicated, decorated, I'm sorry, English players ever. On the flip side, he's the all-time scorer for his boyhood club, which very few people can say. There's a similar dilemma now with Harry Kane. He could be Tottenham's uh, top goal scorer or guarantee himself trophies at a bigger club. Well, as far as I've heard, Kane wants out. Like, I don't know if he'll actually be able to get out this offseason because of what the Spurs would probably ask for him. But from what I'm hearing, he wants out. But then again, they, it was rumored last year that Messi wanted out of Barca, and then he just re-signed. So who knows? Maybe things could change. I hope he's wearing that postmodern family shirt, ironically, as a joke. It's the worst channel ever. What? No. No, I would never wear a shirt, ironically, as a joke. I mean, come on. I gotta support the postmodern family. They love me over there. I mean, 
I'm their favorite reaction channel too. I mean, we're both good Christian channels after all. Tuesday, have I missed a schedule update video? Yes and no. I talked about this a little bit in the 26,000 subscribers video, so if you want to see here early, uh, go watch that video. But the schedule will be changing. I was supposed to originally change it next week, but this week is a preview as to what it's going to be. Uh, I will talk about this more. Again, if you want to hear it now, you can go watch 26,000 subscribers video, but I will talk about it uh, in full length uh, in the in the August plans video uh, come Sunday. All right, y'all, let's go into it for another episode of Reading Your Comments. The comments in this video were pulled from five videos. Last week's episode of Reading Your Comments, American Reacts to Weakest Link, American Reacts to Doctor Who 14, American Reacts to Black Books 5, and American Reacts to Match of Their Day. So if you want a chance to get your comment read next week on Reading Your Comments, uh, be sure to comment on the video uh, of this video. Uh, the video which came out yesterday, which was the outnumbered re-upload, the video that comes out tomorrow, and the reaction videos that come out next week before Thursday. Those are the places to comment if you want a chance to get your comment read in the next week's episode of Read Your Comments. But that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, right every single day, my second channel, first TV is my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion, uh, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all 80 of my Patrons, currently named in the description for your content support me my channel. For those of you who don't know, you can page on me for as little as one dollar one pound you get access to the reaction videos also read your comments today early and you get your name in the description as well also in the description is linked to community right as well as daily schedules well as twitch vlogs channel for all that being said though my name is tanford's team this has been an ever episode of reading your comments and i'll see you guys next time bye